Hey everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this video, we are going to create Volkswagen branding logo animation in After Effects. Open After Effects, go to the project panel and create a new composition. Change composition name to main render. Preset custom with 1920 height 1000 AG set frame rate to 29.97 change the duration time to 10 seconds and click OK in this video we're going to work with this folder called tutorial and I will give you the full project file link on my patreon page and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel now let's start creating a plain background right click here new choose solid change solid name to BG and click OK. First let's start to create logo animation. To do that, click here to create a new composition. Change the composition name. Make same as composition size and click OK. Now go to the project panel, search for the logo, drag and drop on the timeline. Go to the effect and presets. Type fill, drag and drop on the logo. Change the fill color to white. Now press S to open scale property. Reduce the scale amount to 50. Now again create a new composition. Change the comp name to reflection map. Now right click here to create a new solid. Change the solid name to fractal. Go to the effect and preset type fractal noise drag and drop on the solid layer and adjust a few settings go to the effects control panel change the fractal type to turbulent smooth change the noise type to soft linear set the contrast amount to 200 and set the brightness to 10. Now open the transform property unlink the uniform scale now change the scale width amount to 100,000 and scale height to 160. Reduce the complexity to 2. Create a new keyframe on the offset turbulence. Change the Y position value to 579. Press U to open the keyframes property. Move the keyframe a little bit forward. And again go at 2 seconds 15 frames. Now change the Y position. Select both keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease, open the graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. If you don't find the edit speed graph, you can right click here to enable the edit speed graph. Now select the main under, go to the project panel, drag and drop the reflection map comp on the timeline and also drag and drop the logo. Now if you don't find the track mat, press F4 to open the track mat. Now change the track mat to the alpha mat GT logo. Right click here. Choose the new null object. Change the null name to scale. Now select both compositions. Parent them to the null object. If you didn't find the parent link, right click here to open columns and choose the parent link. Now select the null object. Press just to open the scale property, create a keyframe, go forward at one second, again create a keyframe. Now at the first keyframe, change the scale value to 150. Then select both keyframes, press F9 to easy ease and change the graph value as shown. Now let's start creating this flow line animation transition. To do that, create a new composition, change the comp name to transition of flow line animation. Make comp size and click OK. Right click here to create a new solid. Change the solid name to fractal. Go to the effect and presets. Type fractal noise. Drag and drop on the solid layer. Now set the fractal type to dynamic. Change the noise type to block. 
change the contrast amount to 200 brightness to negative 66 make sure to change the complexity to 8 open the transform property uncheck the uniform scale set the width amounts to 100,000 and scale height amounts to 200 now this time change the evolution to 65 degrees hold the art button and click on the evolution stopwatch icon to open the expression now type time asterisk 100 now create a keyframe on the offset turbulence go at 1 second change the y position value to something like this Now select the layer, go to the toolbar menu, select the rectangle tool, open the title safe action. Now draw the mask to something like this. Press F to open the feather, set the feather amount to 150 pixels. Again press M to open the mask, create a keyframe on the mask path, go forward at 14 frames. Again create a keyframe, again go forward 2 frames, create a keyframe and again go forward at 1 second. Create a keyframe, now come at first frame, select the mask path and change the mask path position to something like this. Leave these two keyframes in the middle. Now at the end keyframe, change the mask path position to something like this. Hit the spacebar button to preview. Press U to open all keyframe properties. Select all keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease. Change the graph value to something like this. I think the noise type looks too much blocky. To solve this, go to the effects and presets, type directional blur, drag and drop on the layer, set the direction amount to 90 degrees and change the blur length amount to 50. Now it looks good. Select the main render, go to the project panel, drag and drop the transition composition on the timeline. Let's give some color to the line animation transition. Go to the effect and presets, search for the tint effect, drag and drop on the layer. Now you can change any color you like, I am going to keep the default red. Now let's give some depth and detail to the line animation. To do that, select the transition comp, hold ctrl or command D to duplicate. Again go to the project panel, again duplicate the transition comp. Make sure to select the comp on the timeline and hold the alt button to drag and drop on this layer. Double click to open the transition to comp. Now change the fractal type to turbulent smooth, change the noise type to liner. Change the contrast amount to 250 and change the brightness amount to negative 100. Just open the transform, change the scale height to 30. Make sure to delete the directional blur. Change the rotation amount to negative 45 degrees. Looks much better. And don't forget to change the blending modes to screen. Select both layers and change the blending modes on the screen. To give more depth and details to the flow line animation, you can change the chain color to flow or any color you like. Now let's give some tint color transition animation for the logo. Select the reflection map, go to the effect and presets, drag and drop the tint effect on the reflection map layer. Change the tint color to red. Go at one second. 
create a keyframe on the amount to 10. Go at 2 seconds 15 frames. Create a keyframe. Now at the first keyframe, change the amount to 10 to 0. Select both keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease. Open the graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. Now go to the project panel, choose particle dust, drag and drop on the timeline, select the layer, go to the toolbar menu, select the rectangle shape, draw the mask to something like this, press F to open the feather, change the feather amount to 200 pixels, again press M to open the mask, go at 1 second, create a keyframe on the mask path, come at the first frame, again create a keyframe. Make sure to create a keyframe in between 14 to 16 frames. Change the mask position to something like this. Select all keyframes and change the graph value. Finally, we can give some jitter shake effects manually. To do that, create a new null object, change the name to jitter. Select transition comp and particle layers, parent them to null object. Now press P to open the position. Create a keyframe, go forward one frame. Again change the X or Y position slightly. As you can see, now we have created a shake jitter effect. For the lens flare effect, right click here to create a new adjustment layer. Change the name to lens flare. Select the layer, go to the effect and presets. Type lens flare, drag and drop on the layer. Bring the flare center to somewhere like here. Change the blend with the original amount to 45%. Now go at 1 second. Create a keyframe on the flare center. Again go forward at 2 seconds 15 frames. Change the X position to something like this. Don't forget to adjust the graph value. Hit the space bar button to preview the entire project. I hope you all love enjoyed watching my after effects tutorial. Can I get 200 likes for this video? Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification for more updates. See you in the next tutorial. Stay tuned. Thank you.